Good day everyone, this is Gary from Structured Solutions. Today I'm showing how to make three simple presentations from a Microsoft project schedule using SSI Presentation Professional. The first slide is very simple. It can be made with just one click. Create a view in Microsoft Project of the items you want on the PowerPoint page, then start PowerPoint. With the items highlighted in Microsoft Project, click Add Import Shapes in PowerPoint from the SSI Presentation Pro menu. Now each selected item in Microsoft Project is a PowerPoint shape on the presentation. The second page adds a few more details showing deadlines for milestones as smaller red indicators, and completed milestones are shown as solid black diamonds. On the third slide, I've moved test and verification milestones and their summary up toward the top of the page and added swim lanes to group milestones and project phases in separate sections. I'll break all this down for you step by step so you can follow along. Pause and repeat any part of this recording as needed. The first and simplest page, or slide as it's called in PowerPoint, can be created as follows. Open a project in Microsoft Project. Create a view showing the tasks, milestones, and summaries you want on a PowerPoint slide. Select the rows in that view. While these rows are selected in Project, open a new or existing PowerPoint presentation. When using an existing presentation, you may need to add a slide for your project view. A new PowerPoint slide may come with title and text boxes. If these are not needed for your presentation, just delete them. Now click Add Import Shapes from the Timeline and Tasks group below the SSI Presentation Pro menu. SSI Tools has now created the slide in PowerPoint from the selected rows in Project. Each item on the page is a separate PowerPoint shape that can be edited, moved, deleted, aligned, or restyled to suit the needs of your audience. For example, if I want to make the text for these two summaries appear in the middle of the shape, I can select the shape and press Center on the Text Alignment group below the SSI Presentation Pro menu. Watch as I make a few more changes to this page using SSI Presentation Pro tools as well as tools that are built into Microsoft PowerPoint. As I move shapes around on the PowerPoint page, I don't have to be too concerned about their horizontal alignment with the timeline scale at the top of the page. These shapes are linked to their corresponding Microsoft Project item. I can always use SSI Presentation Pro's Update Shapes tools to ensure correct alignment with their current dates in Microsoft Project. Next, we'll look at updating this page and adding features to make it look like the second example from our introduction. There we added deadlines to milestones and used a solid fill color to show completed milestones. We'll start with the basics of updating first. If something becomes misaligned to the timeline because you moved shapes on the page, or if dates change in project, just click Update Shapes below the SSI Presentation Pro menu to get current dates from the project and synchronize those dates to this PowerPoint page. Now let me show you how to display completed milestones with a different style as incompleted milestones. For this example, I'll show completed milestones as stars with a solid green fill. First I need to make a legend on the page for milestones that are complete. I'll use a star as its shape type. Then I'll click Add New Legend. My new legend for completed milestones appears at the bottom of the page. Then I need to format the legend color to display the star as a solid green fill.
To have existing shapes reflect the style of my new legend, I need to do two things. First, I need to update the shapes. This will recognize that you want to distinguish between completed and incompleted milestones by the additional legend I just added to the page. Second, I need to expand my options below Update Shapes by clicking the down arrow in the lower right corner of the button. Then I select Match Legend Styles. And notice now that my first two milestones on this page are now showing their completed status from the active Microsoft Project schedule. Now I'll add reference shapes to milestones showing the date of their deadline. To do this, I'll need to expand the selections below Update Shapes and select Open Updater Form. Then I select Advanced Microsoft Project Update Options. Then I'll add reference dates for milestones showing the Deadline Date field. While I'm at it, I'll add baseline dates to Tasks and Summaries. and I'll show progress bars as well. Click Accept, then click Update Task Shapes, notice the new yellow shapes. These are showing the deadline dates for milestones and the baseline dates for tasks and summaries. Progress bars are also shown for tasks and summaries along with their percent complete value. Finally, I need to fine-tune the text on two of my summary bars since their base baseline references are laying over their description. I'll select the summaries, then I'll click the Up button on the Move Resize Shape or Shape Text menu group. To set default colors and styles for shapes, click the arrow in the lower right corner of the Timelines and Tasks group. Many colors, styles, and import options can be set using this form. For example, if I want reference milestones to show with a red fill, I select Reference Shapes and pick the color red from the palette. Always click Save Settings to save user-defined selections for future PowerPoint presentations. Finally, I'll group milestones and project phases by adding swim lanes to groups of shapes on this page. First, I'll select a group of shapes. Then I'll click Add Swim Lane. Now I'll give that group a name and a group color for its lane on this page. Then I'll click Make Swim Lane. The text box for each lane is separate from its group box, so you can move the text if needed. And finally, I'll do the same for project phases. Thanks for watching this video. Keep looking for more just like it. If you have a request for video instructions from SSI Tools, please send those to ssi at ssitools.com and keep watching our site for updated content.